Hey guys, Mike Fasile here, and in this video, we're talking about how to make money on YouTube and how total beginners are earning $100 to $700 a day in passive income. More at that after the intro. Hey guys, how's it going? Mike Fasile here. Welcome to this video. Before we actually begin, I remind you that several spots have opened up for this week's free workshop where it's the fastest and easiest way to make money online. Sign up for it in the link below. We literally have a 62 year old woman go from zero to $160,000 in profit in as little as 90 days, so check it out right now. All right guys, so the first way is pretty much obvious and that's just like by making videos in the ad sense that you get paid when you make these videos. So as you can see, like in the past 28 days, it's been pretty like life changing because I never thought that this was actually possible for people that don't get that much views on YouTube. Like if you look at my channel, like I don't actually get that much views. And because of that, I was very always nervous and scared to make videos because you know, I was always afraid of what people thought if I put all of my work and effort and time into making these videos and no one watches. But after a while, I got fed up with it, right? And as you can see, if I show you the past 365 days, I was just not taking YouTube at all seriously. If anything, my YouTube channel could say quote unquote died. And because of that, you could see that like the views were just like crazy, crazy low. And you could see even like the income on the lowest day was like $8. And this was only a couple months ago, right? But the moment I started treating this seriously again with the methods that I'm gonna share with you, you know, the AdSense started picking up like crazy, right? And as you can see, it went from like $8 a day to $30 a day to when I started taking it seriously by just implementing these things. You see that it just started growing like crazy, guys, to the point where now like the highest day was like $954. And then now it's just like covering about like $800 and $900. And this is all coming in just passively, which is, is insane because like I said, if you would have told me just a couple months ago that this was possible within as little as a very short time, like look at this guys. Like people are like, oh Mike, you have a big YouTube channel. What now? Look, my channel died, right? And I was always scared to publish videos because I'm like, what are people gonna think? My channel's dead. The comments are gonna be so negative. People are gonna hate on me. And for the longest time, that fear of my own limiting belief prevented me from succeeding. And I realized, why is it, why am I literally listening to this voice when that can't pay for the bills and that's not gonna allow me to achieve, achieve my goals? So the moment I figured out that and turned that critical mind off was the moment it started doing really well. Especially what helped was uh, making the right videos, right? So I would just find a topic, like for example, how to make money. And what I would do is I would systematically start making all of these videos that people are searching for. Because what YouTube is essentially doing is they're telling me, hey, Mike, these people, this is what they're searching for. If you make a video about this topic, you will be found because this is what people are searching for. So think about that. I literally did this for how to make money online as a teenager. And what you could actually do is take your main keyword and type in A, type in B, type in C. These are just more and more keyword ideas to go ahead and make videos about. Like I said, for 90 days, I literally just focus on publishing a video a day and just learning exactly what works and what doesn't work, right? And when it comes to YouTube, what I realize, the two most important things are click the rate, our title, and last but not least is actually like the thumbnail, right? Which of course is what gives you the click through rate. What happens when you start putting and publishing a lot of videos is you start realizing what works and what doesn't work. Oh, when I do this face, more people click. Oh, when I do this face, less people click. And I, I, I hate to tell you this, but it's like you literally just have to put a bunch of poop at the wall and just see what sticks. Because as you see from my channel, like not a lot of people watch my videos, but it's the ones that actually end up blowing up are the ones that equate for most of the money from this method. Like what you guys gonna understand with people that do this method, maybe like, 10% of your videos are what is responsible for all of this growth. And if you just start reverse engineering that way, then you can start making some serious money that way. The second way you can make money with YouTube is by podcasting. And this is exactly what I would actually recommend for people that are just getting started. So for example, back in the day, I you know had a bunch of people that were like broke 15 year olds. Why was that? Because one of my best videos was how to make $100 a day as a broke 15 year old. And because of that, whenever I would make you know content and videos that I enjoyed, People didn't like that because they're all broke 15 year olds. So I was like, okay, you know what? I need to build a new audience, right? And the best way to do that if you don't have any audience is leveraging other people's audiences and eating each other's audiences up. So what I did is I literally found all the smart people that were around me, people that might not even have crazy Instagram followers, but they just had really nice stories. 
And it was those stories that kind of like grew my channel again when I leveraged their stories to really grow my business, right? So as you can see, I typed in meet the 11 year old girl that turned on $30 million. This guy that makes a million dollars per month profit. You know, this person that talks about interesting things, this 22 year old girl that managed a billion dollars. And what I did is I leveraged their stories and their uniqueness and I just became like the Oprah Winfrey, right? Where I'm just like talking to all these experts. But what happens when you do this is even if you're a complete beginner and you suck at everything, your credibility will start elevating because you are getting associated with people that are smart. And it's just like the law of association, right? And I did this, and a great way to do that is like I said, it builds your channel naturally with other people's stories and other people's audiences, and you can get paid really good money. Like look at this, one conversation that I had was around $5,000 in profit from the AdSense that I had, and I just had a one hour conversation, guys. A one hour conversation. Just think about how many epic conversations you've had in the past week Right? Imagine if you got paid even a fraction of that for those conversations. That's why I love podcasting, especially on YouTube, because you could literally take other people's epic stories and grow together. The third way you would actually make money with YouTube, even if you don't want to make videos about it, is e-commerce, right? So for example, uh, Teespring is a place where you can literally upload designs and go ahead and make sales. And they'll pay you, the, they'll do all the handling, the shipping, the returns. They deal with everything. And all you gotta do is really find the people that wanna buy the product and get the right designs. So a good place to get all of the designs, like what I did, is like going to Pinterest and just typing in like a specific niche. So if you don't wanna make the videos and you don't wanna be on camera, this is a good, really good way. You know, I would just type in cat t-shirts right here. Right, and when I do that on Pinterest, it shows me all of the things that people are actively looking for right now that they wanna buy. So I would screenshot all of these and just put them in like a Google Drive folder because this is good, this, these are gonna be the designs that I'm gonna get someone else to create for me so that I can make money. I would do that with Pinterest, I would do that with AliExpress too. You know, I sort everything by cat tea and orders and find out all the orders that are popular. I would just screenshot all the ones that work as well as Redbubble when you go to Redbubble and just type in cat, sort everything by best selling, I would screenshot all the ones that people are already buying for. I would then go to Upwork, which is a place where you can get very cheap graphic designers, and I would literally give them my entire you know, Dropbox file of all these images. I would make sure that I would go find them only in the Philippines and make sure they charge $10 an hour. When I did this back in the day, I was getting about $2 per design because you know these people are so good at design and some of these concepts are so simple. Like this Black Hats Matter, this could be done within as little as like five minutes, right? So then you get a bunch of designs, you then throw it up on Teespring, and now you gotta go and find ways that you could get in front of the people that wanna buy cat video or cat products. One good way that you could do it is if I just type in cat tips, you'll see like huge opportunities, especially when I show you guys. A lot of like light bulbs will flash. You can see what happens if I scroll down. There are literally people that get 600,000 views and only 4,000 subscribers. How many of those people do you think will actually go and buy cats or a cat t-shirt? Probably a lot, right? You can make a bunch of money and you don't even have to store any of the inventory yourself. That's the beauty about Printful they, and Teespring. They literally do everything for you with the merchandise and whatnot, and all you really gotta do is just send them the products. It's the most turnkey solution ever. And you can see a good example of that is uh, fanjoy.com. They do this for a lot of YouTube creators. So you don't necessarily have to be the face of it. You could do this for people that have influence, kind of like how you could do this for this girl right here that has 600,000 views, but she's not making any money with only 4,000 subscribers. Look at this. With this method, this website, Fanjoy, pulled in 500,000 total visits last month, and when you Google them, they did over $30 million in sales in that year of 2017, right? And they're leveraging influencers on YouTube. So the thing is, if you want to make money on YouTube but you don't want to show your face, this is a good way to make money with YouTube. Another way that you could also make money is with email marketing, right? So you could get people's email addresses, and as you can see, I'm getting like about like 200 emails a day uh, from my YouTube channel. And what you can do with that is you could send people's emails to like other people's products and offers where they will do the selling for you. So that's literally what I did here. I found a good product about internet marketing and creating online businesses on here. And they were gonna give me 50% of all of their profits that they're the ones that sold. I didn't have to do any of the selling. I didn't have to put myself on camera. Literally, they did all the selling. And you can see from that alone, last year we pulled in 118,000 in commissions. And when we do all time, 
we brought in even more considerably amount of that as well. Another thing that you could also do is sell ClickBank products, right? So if you go to ClickBank, you could go find all these products that are already existing, right? And they'll give you 50 to 75% of all of their profits. So a good example that I could do is, uh, let's just do, uh, for example, keto, right? Someone who goes and buys this cookbook for seven bucks, I can literally get paid without having to create this product. I just gotta find out how to get in front of those right people. One good thing that I like doing is uh, utilizing um, the vidIQ app. And I'll just type in keto as a keyword research tool. And then I'm gonna find out all of the people where I could make videos about and be put in front of these people. So 700,000 people are looking for intermittent fasting. That's insane. 400,000 for meal prep. So if I'm gonna make videos about YouTube to get in front of people that would probably buy my keto cookbook that I'm recommending as an affiliate product, you can see exactly how much people are looking for this, right? And there's so much other products as well. Like one of those things are like tarot card reading, right? So look at this, this is $39. If someone buys this, I could get like 20 to 30 bucks of this entire sale. Someone else does all of the hard work for me. They do the customer service, they do the fulfillment, they do the returns. And if I just type in tarot card reading in the vidIQ software, tarot. Look at this, 1.8 million people are looking at this every month and the competition is low. So you can see why ClickBank is a good way because you could, there's literally all these products that you can go ahead and promote from like marriage counseling to manifestation to personalities to you know physical products and e-commerce products like green juice that you could recommend that you could get paid for. And as you can see on my dashboard, in the past seven days it's been pretty, pretty well where we pulled in this much net. And if I go in the past 30 days, once it actually loads, we have $24,000 in that, guys. And that's just ClickBank alone, guys. But if you need help with ClickBank and you wanna learn how to make more money, even with affiliate marketing and selling any product that you want, without actually having to have any inventory, without having to have any experience, without having to build all the complicated tech stuff, then make sure you join this week's free workshop because it is the fastest and easiest way to make money online, where a 62-year-old woman made $160,000 profit in 90 days. Check out the link below, as well as check out my podcast, of all these people that make money online in other aspects other than just on YouTube. With that being said, love you guys, I'll see you guys later.